I wanted to explain to you what it feels like when you have most of your 5D body. Because I know I've had that before when I was in the vortex over 20 years ago in Boynton Beach, Florida was where I had this experience. It was right by the beach, by the water. And so every time we were going to the vortex, it was good energy. Suddenly it started to get to be yucky energy. And I said, something's wrong. There's a ship under the water. I kept saying that. And that was before they even found ships under the water. Like that was a long time ago. But I was like, I know there's a ship under the water. Nobody believed me. Nobody really believed in any of that. And also when the ships did come, the good ones that came through the vortex that day, it looked like a lineup, like triangles across the sky. And I had no proof of it, but me and my teacher did see it. And it was amazing. That was the day they said to be there and they came in and gave us our healing and helped us with the implants, but I couldn't see them and I think it was because I wasn't a high enough vibration to see them and they said that we're standing right here you know but I couldn't see them and neither could she as intuitive or psychic as we are we couldn't see them we just couldn't because they were just way above our dimension and even though I was shown like different dimensions but anyway so the bad ETs started to come in and I had the grays come in and what happened is I was very attracted to everything back then. So I every day I want to run to the vortex because I just loved it. It was so exciting to me and so much fun to go there. So one night I went with this guy. He was a friend of the guy that showed me that place. And uh, I just happened to go there and he was there too. So we started to walk into the parking lot area of this park. And I started to see the energy started pushing me, pushing me back. And it was one of the things they would do there if the energy wasn't right. We would feel like pushing, like we're getting ushered out. And of course, no, I don't listen. So I decided I'm going to go in there. And I started to see grays in the trees, in all the trees. Like they were etheric grays and they were huge. And they started to attack us and somehow my pointer finger just started having this energy and I just kept going back and forth back and forth and it was like the weirdest thing all and it felt like my head was above my head it was the I just knew everything like in front of me behind me everywhere it was the best feeling I ever had it was like almost like I had a cone head and eyes in the back of my head and everything it was the best feeling ever and I can't wait to get that again and I only had it that one day that one time because I needed it because I was being attacked and I do this kind of work out there out of my physical body but not in my physical body so it was very weird and they came in and gave me that energy for that day including my finger because I was being attacked and one of the grays tried to swarm into my third eye and somehow I blocked it off and I just kept going like this and back and forth and taking out all the grays, taking out all the grays until finally it was over. And after that things got calm again and everything was good. I had this, I call it the battle of the grays and we left there and after that I worked in the hospital and outside a trauma door because I was on the trauma floor and I worked in critical care for seven years and um, in all the units and I was outside trauma door that's where my office was and all I asked my boss was for one chair because I wanted people to be able to the nurses to be able to come in there if they wanted to sit because they had such stressful traumatic jobs especially in trauma and people would come in there you know and so that's what would happen they'd come in there and sit in my chair and um vent kind of and they needed to and they would just tell me stuff and sometimes they would even cry you know it's very upsetting when they have multiple line patients and they are only one and we're short staffed and they would be afraid and scared they're saving people's lives and they're trying to take care of people and being short staffed sometimes it was just really scary for them and my one nurse friend every time I point my finger 
she'll be like, stop pointing your finger at me. It, the, like, like the energy, like my energy was too much. Like anytime I was pointing, people were like bugging out. If they feel energy, they were like, and, and even people that didn't, like I had to be real careful about pointing my finger for a while after that. It was like, even though my feeling on my head went away, my finger still was active and all this energy was still coming out of it for a long time. I'm not, I don't think it's there anymore, but I wish it was and I wish I had that feeling again and I can't wait to be in 5D and have that again because it was the best feeling in the world. It's just the best feeling in the world and we're all gonna have that feeling really soon and I can't wait. And I can't wait to teleport and that everybody is telepathic. I'm a lot telepathic, but not as much as I could be or have been. And we all are gonna be telepathic and we're all gonna be able to teleport and we won't even need to use cars anymore and they won't be fighting because we'll understand each other when we're all telepathic. And I can't wait for that day to come. Um, which it's coming soon. So this energy upgrade is actually going to be helping bridge us from 3D into 4D through the 4D to the 5D, 5D, uh, third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth dimension. We're going to start to shift and for the next three days we're going to have upgrades that are going to help us uh, with the shift. And so you may see things fading in and out and unstable. Like when I was at the vortex, if you would go to stand on the ground, it would look like it was moving. And I even took like a boyfriend there and I took uh, some students from the class there and they all felt the energy. I took friends there, like everyone that I took there that was from my class and spiritual people that felt the energy, they were all feeling this energy. It was just amazing but this park did have another dimension in the back of it it was a druid uh, lifetime and the trees had some real funny energy and good energy at the same time so I didn't even finish telling you about the waterfall so somehow we would every time we went to this um, vortex we had to go in a different way or we were getting pushed out the first time we went they said you have to come back later and we were like pushed out they said come back at a, a different time and we had to do like a ceremony to be welcomed in by the nature spirits and so that happened we went back and we did that and after that we were welcomed in and nobody knew what was going on because in the daytime it was a picnic place and a beach a regular beach and um, it's actually Bernie Breezes and I lived not far from there, but um, it was like, it's like a beach place and they would have like, uh, they had like barbecues up there and the trees would like come up into like a vortex. So in the daytime people were barbecuing and then at night to me it shifted. So even the messenger that showed me that place, we were there one night and he did not see us and he was standing like we didn't call him or anything but I feel like he was in a different dimension than us that it shifted us into a different dimension than him and we were like right there and he didn't even see us he was just hanging out over there and then he finally he went away but he didn't see us at all and we were in the middle of doing like um, our little ceremonies and with the uh, galactic and it was just he didn't even see us so it was a very amazing time in my life that I wish I had again and I only got to have that once but I want that again and I can't wait for us to be in 5D because I already kind of know what it feels like and it's just the best thing. So the other lifetime I had was with the angels and it was a vision I had. So in this shamanic journey, every time I went on this shamanic journey, we went around the back, on this path, around this waterfall, and in the back, and then I'd be go see all the angels, and then we'd be playing Ring Around the Rosy, like with the angels. That was my vision. So sure enough, every time we went in a different way, so this one time we went in the back, and then we were coming up the back, and my teacher said, that used to be a waterfall and 
we that water used to be here and I'm like yeah that looks like a waterfall sure enough I'm most positive that was a waterfall from my vision and you had to walk up the back exactly how it is it's dry now there's not nothing but you know it's it looks like um, a waterfall could be there but it's all dry and when you go up the back it's like this round parking lot and that's where I played Ring Around the Rosie with the Angels and then it was just amazing because that is where it ended up being the vortex and it was just an amazing time I know it sounds unbelievable but it's true and uh, many things started happening there after after we started doing this we would have to hide to voice channel it was like we were being listened to. Uh, there was shape-shifting helicopters. I mean, my whole life, there was helicopters over my car. Um, it's like they're watching you. And they would shape-shift and change into something else. And this was happening a lot. One time, me and my daughter were at the vortex. We had to hide from the helicopter was hovering. And it's like almost like when you are psychic, they feel, they can see you from above and now people are saying that's true but I don't know because I don't really know much about techno you know real technology or anything I just know what I've known my whole life and now there's actually I think people are saying that these things are true but I didn't know that I just knew it because I just knew stuff I you know I just know stuff from I guess the Akashic or just from God or my knowing and um it was such an amazing time. So I just, I guess I'll end this here and we can always talk more about the Vortex later. But I just want you to know that this energy upgrade is kind of like that. And you may see things fading in and out. You may not see it. Some Not everybody's going to see it. Um, you know, like the guy didn't see us there. But even if you don't see anything, just know that you're going to get it and you'll probably be sleeping so just know you're getting it you don't have to do anything you don't have to meditate you don't have to do anything you're just going to get the energy upgrade everyone on earth is going to get the energy upgrade and some will be open to it some may block it you know uh unconsciously you know if they're on the other side or whatever but in my opinion, there everyone's going to get this. You don't have to do any certain meditation. You don't have to do anything. You just might just feel better um, or a little more uplifted after these shifts take place. Already, I feel like a lot better and I feel like just from one day of it and I feel a lot better. I, try, I tried to stay up last night and see what was going on and I just passed out and that was the end of it and by the time I woke up it was already past four o'clock so it, it was already the shift was already over according to what I channeled it was between 3 and 4 a.m. around the globe but um, I just I just know everyone's gonna go and some people you know are saying you have, have to do meditation you have to do this you have to be in your body and this and that and honestly you don't have to do anything because there's children out there that they don't know anything they're going to get upgraded. They're probably wiser than we are. And then, you know, even my bird, she's been acting so weird lately. Like, she's seeing things. She's flying around like a crazy woman. I'm actually going to have to get her wings clipped again because she's acting a little weird. And she starts chirping at things that aren't there that not, and flipping out about things that aren't even happening. Like, I know she sees more than I do. And they did tell me I had a vision uh I don't know I think it was around 2011 and I actually I'm gonna get the picture in 2011 I had a vision I was standing by the water and I looked down and I saw the earth going into like almost like a vortex funnel cloud like not a cloud like a vortex and I saw the earth going up into it and shifting what I didn't know realize that was I knew that was shifting but you know into a higher dimension but I didn't realize what was actually happening like fourth fifth di dimension and then I the more years went by I'm hearing other people talking about that but anyway this picture I painted a couple of years ago and it's kind of you know I'm not an, the perfect artist so this 
was us now and this is the 4d so i would say that's 3d this is 4d and this is how i saw us going into 5d and this part over here is the vortex that we shifted up and there it is and this i did this vision this was a picture from my vision and you know i had the water there and there was a wall actually where i was sitting so that's the wall and then that's the moon and the earth was just traveling up and this is us we're gonna be in 5d and i saw this in 2011 a vision and they said that the birds are gonna go first and to you know follow the birds so i think that's why she's acting a little crazy and that also that the children are gonna go all the children are gonna go and so there's no worry that you have to know anything or do anything. Yes, I love doing meditation. I like teaching meditation. I like helping people with meditation. And that helps you get, you know, a little more in tune with your body. It helps you with healing. It helps you with everything. But in my opinion, you don't have to do anything to shift. God is going to have us all shift if we want to. It's all up to you. It's it's really all up to you. If you want to shift, you're going to shift. And the people that don't know anything about this stuff, they're still going to shift. If they're good people, unless they made a contract that before they were born that they're just pure evil and they don't want to shift, they're not going to shift. They're going to stay here on the old 3D earth. But other than that, anyone that is a human being on this earth, they could even be a bad person right now, but or, you know, not bad, bad, but, you know, like not pure evil but there's good in everybody unless they're soulless which we have some of that going on right now and you know some different kind of reptilians or whatever out there and different bad ETs that are out there um, that are doing stuff but unless it's like that you don't really have to worry and you're gonna go and the children are gonna go and we're just all gonna be in 5d and it's gonna be beautiful and everything's gonna be perfect so just know that what we're going through right now is not what you're gonna go through forever it's almost we're gonna be finished with it soon time is so speeding up so quickly just know there is light at the end of the tunnel and then there is hope at the end of the tunnel and that it's all gonna work out and everyone's gonna be able to go and it's all good just know it's all good so i wish you blessings and thank you to my guides for helping me ramble which maybe that was coming from me but i just decided i would talk to you today and try to talk to you personally instead of being afraid of the camera and say i'm a million times and even though i've been a professional belly dancer my whole life and performing on stages all over but I've always had stage fright my whole life and now I have camera fright <laughs> for some reason I don't know why it's a stupid camera but I just feel weird about it and I'm trying to get used to it and I just feel like I gotta know that you're really out there and that I'm talking to real people and that you're really there and um you know get over the way I look now and all that stuff as I'm aging and it's just a little weird but uh stop it Ricky. anyway um it's all good and just know you're gonna be okay everybody's gonna be okay your children are gonna be okay you're gonna be okay follow your instincts don't listen to everybody out there put your hand on your heart and say is this the right thing for me to do is this really the right thing for me to do and you'll just breathe and you'll know you'll know you'll hear it in your head you'll say yes or no you'll hear it or you'll know it and you'll do the right thing we all have our instincts just follow your own instincts instead of listening to everybody else you may get confirmation from other people but try to listen to yourself because you know the truth about you and your family and what's best for you and your children and grandchildren. I have three grandchildren. I don't get to see them much. They're in Pennsylvania. My daughter's there. And, you know, 
I know they're going to be okay. My daughter doesn't practice any of the things that I practice. My second daughter, my oldest, and she's a good girl. She takes care of her children, and she may not be uh, spiritually aware like I, the things that I do, and she makes fun of me, and they make fun of me, you know, my whole life, but my other daughter, she's finally coming to be like me, my younger one, and we're together all the time because she lives here in Florida, and she is turning into a little mini me like a prodigy and of course she is very aware because she's younger than me and an indigo and she's born that way and she's just coming into it now because she was running away from all of her spiritual stuff because she saw so many people attacking me and ridiculing me and making fun of me all my life and her life so she was kind of running away from it but now she's not running away from it anymore and she's starting to embrace it and she's pretty intuitive so just know you'll come into everything in your time and it's all good and you know God is with you and Jesus is with you and any of your guides or whoever you believe in is with you just know you are gonna be okay it's almost over just trust your intuition stay safe wear a mask why not if it's gonna maybe help at least try we got to get rid of this virus and if you don't believe in masks, that's okay you know but I have a really hard time wearing a mask because I have asthma and I can't even breathe without the mask so but I do wear it I don't want to be coughing on anybody I don't want anybody you know giving scaring anybody either I've had people making fun of me for wearing a mask when I'm outside or looking at me in a bad way like as if I'm doing something wrong but you know what I don't care if I'm gonna save somebody else and if there's a hope that I could save somebody else that I'm not gonna give them something or my germs if God forbid I'm some kind of a carrier then I'm gonna do it and so that's your choice you put your hand on your heart and you make your decision but I do think working in the hospital and working in the in my esthetician job that it definitely helps I wore a mask to work during every session that I did for the last six years um, on clients um, and I'm right in their face and they're talking and they come to me sick and everything. And everyone in there was always sick and I didn't get sick. And I think that's why I didn't get sick too because I always wore a mask. And I do believe that it helps because it helped me a lot. And sometimes I double masked it if I knew they were really sick, I would double mask it because I needed to make sure that I wasn't going to catch what they had and you know what I did stay safe through people coming to work with sick with colds and flus and oh you know many of them are way younger than me and you know I worked with massage therapists and estheticians in a, a big franchise so it was constant we're all on top of each other all day long and we're all together in one tiny little break room and you know you're in your tiny little room and I work in a room without a sink so I had to use the hand sanitizer every five minutes you know doing my work and which is one reason I can't go back I can't go back to a sinkless room and can't even wash my hands either right now so you know in there and I just didn't feel safe doing that but just know it's all good and I send you prayers and blessings and I send you lots of love, light, and energy, and from myself and little Angelica, blessings.